Hi, Tanya. This is Jim from Max Die Jeep in Salem, Illinois. And I uh, just wanted to come out, give you a quick video tour of the uh, Jeep right-hand drive unlimited. Uh, this is, as we discussed, factory-made right-hand drive. It is the uh, new body style that they came out with in 2007. And as you can see, and as it was noted in the pictures, it does have a black hard top on it. I'm um, going to kind of zoom in here on the inside to show you the doors. Um, the lock button is located here on the door, and it's an electric lock. It does have power windows, and those buttons are located on the uh, center console. Uh, taking a look at the the window sticker, I don't know how much you'll be able to read on the video, but uh, city miles per gallon, it estimates an average of 15 miles per gallon. Uh, expected range for most drivers, they say, is 12 to 18 miles per gallon. On the highway, uh, the average is 19, with expected for most driver listed at 15 to 23. Now, of course, uh, actual mileage may vary. It depends on how you drive it. But this is a four-wheel drive model. The final uh, assembly point for this vehicle is Toledo, Ohio, as well as the engine and transmission, both made in the United States as well. Uh, taking a look up here at the top, it's white on the inside, as you can tell, and this section is separate from the section over the passenger seat over there, and to remove them, they have a latch system here that slides on both sides, uh, actually on all four corners of the top, so you can remove just one section above the driver's seat, one section over the passenger seat, or both sides, and then it does have a roll bar that's padded. This is also where your sound system is installed with the speakers, dual speakers up there. It is AM, FM, and CD player. Looking into the back, this is a 60-40 split bench seat. Uh, as you can see, part of it is folded down right now, and uh, that does pop back up fairly easily and back into place so that you then have access to an entire back seat if uh, you need that uh, as well. Folding it down, simply pull a tab and it does fall over uh, pretty easily with the headrest um, folding up as well to make it a little bit easier. It does set up uh, higher probably than your Grand Cherokee does. Um, it's been a while since I've seen a Grand Cherokee up close, so I'm not 100% sure. But I did want to show you how the back door operates as well. The wheel is attached directly to the back door uh, with its own hardware back there. To open it, it has the same type of handle as the side doors do. And so that opens out in one easy swing. And then the window portion of the back simply lifts up as well so that you have full access to the back. Uh, in the plastic there on the floorboard, uh, that is, um, or those are two packages that contain your floor mats for the vehicle. Um, one thing that you may want to take note of on here as well is that this back window does have a, a wiper blade to help clear debris, snow, slush, so forth. But uh, I don't know if you can see the little brown lines in here. It does have a rear window defroster as well, so that could be pretty handy uh, while you're out on your route as well. The gas tank is on the left side of the vehicle. These have the standard steel wheels to them with Goodyear radial tires. Um, they're called Wrangler STs. Looking in the back door on this side, folding down the seat uh, just as easy as the other side. Pull on the strap and down it goes. Folds away and the headrests are such so that it, and the seats are short enough in the back that uh, you will have pretty easy access from between the front two seats to be able to reach back to grab mail as well. And taking a look from the left side of the vehicle inside. This is a four-wheel drive, hazard lights, of course. Um, it does have two power outlets in the front for plugging in cell phones or rotator lights that you may put on top or in the back of your vehicle. Uh, it does have air conditioning and, of course, heating. And right here, uh, this section in the middle, these are the buttons to operate your windows, both for the front and the back windows. The AM FM CD player also has a jack 
in it, located here, for plugging in an MP3 player or an iPod, uh, something of that nature, and that will play through your car stereo as well. So that's a, a quick tour of the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. This is a 2009 model, and uh, we have this one for now, as well as a silver one. And uh, please give me a call if you have any questions at all uh, about this trail-rated vehicle. Uh, if you have any comments that you want or need additional pictures or a closer-up video of something else, I'll be happy to do that. My name is Jim at Max Die in Salem, Illinois, and our telephone number is 618-548-2343. Thanks so much. I look forward to meeting you and earning your business.